Now you always knew that the Mahindra Scorpio would continue alongside the Scorpio N, considering how much further upmarket the new SUV has gone. And considering that the Mahindra Scorpio Classic, as it's now called, is still such a strong seller, the changes are more than just a rebadge. The changes run quite deeper. I'm going to tell you exactly what's different about the Scorpio Classic in this video. Now, a fair few changes have been made to the front of the Mahindra Scorpio Classic with this update. To start with, you have the Twin Peaks logo here now. And you have these vertical slats on the grille, which are quite similar to the ones that you've seen on the Scorpio N and the XUV700. The headlamps are a bit different. You get these lashes now in terms of these lights over here, as well as the internals are a bit different. And the bumper has been changed too. So you have this big silver skid plate here, a new housing for the fog lamps and these wide LED DRLs. Now you get a new gray shade of paint. And as for what's changed on, along the side, you get a new dual tone look to these 17 inch alloy wheels. This cladding has been sort of spruced up with the logo and this silver cladding as well as this cladding itself has been smoothened out a little bit. Now at the back, you get this quite useful footstep for getting off the boot. You get this Scorpio Classic badging and this full-length light element, which has come back with the Scorpio N, now also comes back here. Now as you can see, getting into this car is a bit different from other newer cars. But once you're inside, there's this great view out with this bonnet sloping away this narrow A pillar, although we would have liked a handle here to make it easier to get in. And you have this slightly knees up and the floor is a bit up, but otherwise a very comfortable seating position, especially with these armrests. And now as for the changes that have been made, that narrow, typically Scorpio dash is still there, but it's now in this black and beige shade. And there are quite a few new features. The most noticeable of these is this new 9-inch touchscreen. The earlier one had a 7-inch unit. It's an aftermarket unit, but it has pretty much every feature that you would need. Of course, you have climate control, cruise control, and the Twin Peaks logo makes an appearance here. Although this instrument cluster with its green backlighting and quite difficult to read dials and the small MID, that could have been upgraded, we think. Now you have a new six-speed manual gearbox and the shifter itself is now shared with the likes of the XUV700 and the Scorpio N. And you get this wide sort of wood paneling in this central area. Now, some might think that it's a bit overdone, but for the audience that the Scorpio was aimed at, we think it's just fine. And you get these black touches here too. Now, storage spaces, there isn't too much aside from what you get here. The door pockets are quite slim. You can't put bottles in it. And there's a fairly sized glove box. But of course, this being a ladder frame car, that is expected. Now, like earlier, you can get the Scorpio Classic in either this captain seat version or a bench version for the second row. Now, while the seats themselves are quite comfortable, they're pretty wide, there's a lot of under-thigh support and the cushioning is also quite robust. The fact that this is an old ladder frame car is again quite apparent and you can't really compare it to, say, a modern seven-seater. So, you have quite a high floor, this door is a bit too close to you, but you have this wide view out, these large windows. So, again, for if you're looking for that typical Scorpio experience, that's remained completely intact. Now, but as you can see from our intern, Riday, who's sitting here, he's six feet tall. There's not too much space here. It's going to be quite uncomfortable, especially if you're looking at the Scorpio Classic as something of a family wagon. Then the more practical choice will probably be the bench seat option that you also get with this car. Now, in this captain seat and bench variant, this other seven-seater variant, getting into the third row is actually quite simple. You just pull this and do this, and getting in is quite easy. There's a huge space here. But once you're inside, you realize that the third row is nowhere near to what new arrivals are, but you can't also expect that considering this is an old ladder frame architecture. So this space, if you're using the Scorpio as a large family mover, is best left only for kids. But the changes run more than just skin deep with the Scorpio Classic. There's a new Gen 2 MHawk motor. It's the same one that's in the Thar with a similar 130 PS and 300 Newton meters. The suspension has been heavily worked on as well to reduce roll and improve high speed stability, addressing a common complaint of previous Scorpio owners. And as you can see with the amount of cladding here, NVH levels have also gone up from before. Now the Scorpio Classic can be had either in a stripped down S variant or this fully loaded S11 trim. So what do you think about the Scorpio Classic? We think prices should start at about 10 mm -hmm. to 11 lakhs. And at that price, do you think it will be even more popular than it's already been? Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm.